Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banner Saga 2. Let's see what Sigbjorn has to say. <clears throat> you find the Varl near an empty barrel, staring at the darkness. He would be drunk if there was more mead for him. What is it we're doing, Blood X? I mean honestly. What's the plan rattling around in that head of yours? To beat you senseless if you keep drinking all uh, trying to keep us alive? I mean, trying to keep us alive seems to be the main goal, honestly. Yeah. You don't find that strange? A varl berserk playing den mother to a bunch of humans? You get in Sigbjorn's face with a deep growl. Maybe I lived you welcome here. Save your show of strength for one of your pups who might actually be intimidated. You grab the warhawk by a horn and punch him in the gut. He doubles over, coughing. The red-headed varl grunts, rearing up with a punch that catches you in the chin. While you recover, the ravens all gather around, some daring to cheer. Volka watches with interest. Shit, this is going to be important, isn't it? It's, if we throw a barrel, it's going to be supplies lost. If we just charge him, we have probably no who horns, would so that's gonna be bad. So I'm just gonna wrap him up and slam him into the ground. Yeah, if we charge him, that's what he would expect. You rush in and grapple with Sigbjorn, both of you fighting for advantage. Everyone else moves back, giving you two a wide berth. When you finally get a hold and throw him to the ground, he rolls, grabs a pot of boiling soup, and lobs it at you. You bat the pot away, but the liquid splashes you, and you roar in pain. Sigbjorn's face drops as he sees the rage in your eyes. The berserk. You cover the distance in two steps. Not remembering drawing your axes, they slash... Oh. Well, he's dead now. Can I take a mulligan? My last This is your mulligan. last one. I know, but we just killed him! I... <sighs> I don't want to lose him! I know that's cheap, but come on! You could talk to the uh, Valka first. <sighs> Valka Zephyr speaking quite. Wait, this is just going to progress things. Is it? Yeah, because he was like, oh, you should go talk to her about the dreams. He's like, yeah, I'll go talk to her. Mm. God damn it. Okay, this doesn't count. This does not count. I don't know count. if we will or not. We might have to just leave. Okay, but you agree that doesn't count. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, beat your senses and keep drinking all the mead. What else is there to do? We can't even sing to pass the time in this outfit. I don't care if you're entertained, little calf. I'm starting to wonder what you do care about. Overheard you saying some strange things to folk about the dredge. You start growling by instinct. Do yourself a favor and stay the fan away from things that don't concern you. Okay, so fighting him? Bad. We do not want to fight him. I'm just gonna walk away. You grin before walking away, hearing the Warhawks curses at you. Okay. Better. Better. I feel much better about that one. How do you feel him? All right. Okay, good. Perfect. <clears throat> this is the perfect time to celebrate with some Doritos. <laughs> Valka Zephyr is speaking quietly to Polka when you approach. Not forbidden. Only rare for Valka to have children. So oh, no! So Nichols was like a son. He was not my child by birth. Yeah, what did you do? I did the only thing I could do. The thing we never want to do. The Valka's eyes fill with tears. I forced a skip in the pattern, which won't mean much to you. Suffice to say, that menders usually repair skips, or mistakes, in the woven fabric of our world. They cover powerful, exposed threads until all is right, and the pattern is whole. I did just the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You stare at her blankly. By skipping Nichols, I exposed a thread and used that power to end Eyeless's attack. And that cost Nichols his life. Yes, but it's a sacrifice every mender is prepared to make, should it be necessary. I don't know you won't try to skip me when we get to Manahar. Because I can't. It is a conscious choice a mender is taught how to make. Silence spans a few moments. A brave kid, then. But even to remember him in a battle chant. I'm sure he'd have liked that. Was there anything else you wanted to discuss? Why? <laughs> I mean, the prisoner's thing makes sense to me. Like, a prisoner is literally just dead weight because you don't trust them to fight for you or to help you. So you're just lugging around an extra body that you have to feed. So, dumping prisoners and moving on, you know, it's a smart move. I suppose. Truly nothing. Though it feels wrapped in all the trappings of power abused. Enough mistakes to ruin the entire weave. Your anger suddenly rises. More Vulcus More secrets. Vulcus secrets. No, not on my part, but perhaps others. Luckily, we're heading towards the one place with answers. Okay, let's find out about Gawler. I've been out of contact with the Council since before I... Oh, since I departed for Bindo. But it can't be good. If the prisoners were telling the truth about everyone fleeing to Arborong... King Minoff will have a serious problem to handle. I wonder if Rook and the others know what they're heading into. They're not our concern. Enough talk. Let's fight! Agreed. We need to get this cart to Manahar soon. And we're not far now. Okay. Should we rest? Yeah. There you go. We're in a better mood now. Good morale. Should we do one more? Yeah, we could get Falco back. Okay, now we're in great morale. Everyone's good. Now we can leave. These woodcutters were no slouches in a fight with those prisoners, Spar says, coughing. I've seen weaker men in Warden, and I think this group realizes their idea of staying here is a pretty bad one. You want me to recruit them? Well, the downside, downside is obviously more food required. Same as it's always been, the old wanderer says. They eat like blasted trolls, but can't find food to save their lives. Our supplies will go quicker. Recruit. I've got a suspicion you actually like humans more than any other bar alive, Spar says, chuckling until he starts coughing and wheezing for air. I feel like he's just going to die on us at one point. We got a lot of fighters and very few varl. Mm -hmm. Several ravens report a large hole in the ground nearby. There's strange marks all around it, one says. Some look fresh, others, well, others look like they've been here as long as the mountains. Spar looks up. This hole has smooth sides, about as deep as a varl? He asks. The man nod and Spar grunts. Gonna make me beat some answers out of you. I didn't say anything because there isn't much to say, Spar we says Weezing. I've seen a few holes like that other places around the world. Once had a bag of jewels buried right in the center. Everyone starts getting excited. Another one, he says louder, fell away into a pit of adders. I heard a man die a more painful death in that one than anything in the battlefield. The buzz of excitement dies. I don't think we should. I don't think so either. Everyone seems to be pleased to moving away from some mysterious hole in the ground. There we go, so we're getting good. Feel free to set up camp whenever you want. Uh -huh. The fighters at the front of the company begin hacking away at dense underbrush. We'll be here all day if the rest of you don't grab your axes and start chopping. One of them growls before wincing at a pain in his hand. Your hand going lame on you? No, the man says, just felt like you grabbed a hot coal. 
Nope. The scouts search in various directions, but a day passes and another route is found. The clansmen don't seem to mind the rest, though. Well, something we'll tells me they were them. touching poison or something bad. No, I don't like that sound. Oh, no. Wasn't that the sound the Sone Stingers were making? Yep. Oh, shit. I always respected Big Liar the Builder. But if he made those caves we went through, I'll... Well, I'd have killed him myself. Yeah, good luck with that, man. That's a cool mountain, though. I mean, not mountain. It's a cool structure. Builder. Looks like stone chips were stacked to make a skull and a hammer. I like it. So a face. <clears throat> you knaves watch your step around these cairns, Spar says, hacking. Many a foolish pilgrim have given life at the base of this frozen cliff. And don't try working one of the stones free, either. Well, you'll bring the whole damn thing down on us. He glares at Ollie, who pulls his hand away from a stone quickly. <laughs> The pieces of Bilagra's godstone, put together without mortar or daub, represent the mastery of the god's own skill. In life, he traveled the land, laying the world's cavernous foundations and raising mountains. He was ever regarded by the other gods with a wary respect, for one who knows how to put things together will also know how to take them apart. The sound of snickering draws your attention, and you see some kids grabbing stones from other cairns to build new ones. Shouting? Probably... No, I would... Mmm, that's dick move, but it's probably gonna... I mean, shouting, I'm worried that it's gonna, like, cause an avalanche or some shit. Grabbing a stone is going to... Probably... I mean, if he's grabbing a stone, it's gonna be a big fucking rock, and it's gonna yeah. cause a problem. So I think... It's not gonna go over run them off. A swift kick and the stones go flying. The kids squeal and run, one slipping and almost falling over the cliff. Not bad, Sparse says. Not Belagra's first lesson, but breaking things down was definitely something this god knew well. Look, the old man points to a trinket the kids must have left under the pile of stones. Yeah, sure, I'm sure the kids had that. An uneasy feeling washes over you, and you scan the ravens, clansmen, and Belagra's cart for any threat. Blood axe, Spar says in a tone stripped of all humor. My eyes are too old to trust what I'm seeing down there. You follow his gaze and growl. On the distant fields below is a massive dredge, too numerous to count. Waves of them are pouring over hills. They don't move like an attacking force. There's a banner among them, Volcus says near you, but I can't make out the crest. You wave off her comment and roar a command. Move! Well, shit. Oh, trophy. By Big Glarer. When Cairns are there for a reason, if the kids are making their own, that's not gonna end well. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Fucking with old shit rarely ends well. Oh, Cairns are there to show a path, pretty much. And if you start putting up your own, well... Oh! This is the darkness, I see. Yeah. You came that's, across it before. That's... yes. A large group of clansmen from Bindle has stopped. Gas and whispers among them. What's the problem now, you ask? Breaking into the circle and finding a couple protectively holding a bundled baby. It's a curse. An omen. The old man says. The child's been replaced. Changed. Never seen anything like it. You wouldn't know a thing about this, Varl, but they do. He points at the couple and the others nod, a few women holding their children tighter. Maybe the darkness did it. Maybe they have dark secrets. It's a sad, hard thing to accept, but if the babe dies, we all suffer. Show me the kid. The father hesitates before pulling a swaddling open. Your experience with human children is minimal, but this looks just like any other baby. Look at the head, someone shouts. You lean down and see feathers? Over the ears, small tufts of pale down the feathers. Kind of reminds you of seeing the neck and father's wings of earth. If it's an omen, it's a good one. No one harms the child. The mother starts weeping and thanking you. Little Hroker, you mumble, and the father smiles. That's what I call him, he says. Maybe the gods aren't. You walk off before you can finish. Yeah, no, why would you want to kill... What? God, There are feathers. Are... Birdman. And the feathers of a god. <laughs> The company comes upon a small village, the people still hard at work with only an occasional glance skyward to the approaching darkness. Volka sees a man chopping wood as she's learned to do a lifetime ago. These people don't know what's coming. They'll figure out soon enough, he 
you say, and turn to the rest of the caravan. We need, we get what we need from this place and rest if necessary. The next few days will be the hardest and last some of you will ever see. Volka gives you a look and you snort. Great. <laughs> As you instruct a man to check the car Oof, cart wheels and yak straps, you hear someone say, mm, hello again. You turn quickly and see the men. Ditch. Ditch? <coughs> I'm going to assume ditch. Quiet as always, but wisely out of your immediate axe reach. What do you want, you ask? Well, I was just scouting around the place, you know, ditch says. <coughs> and then we went, well, I went up on the hill to watch the dredge. It's the, from uh, Einertoft. Oh. Einertoft. You grimace as the town's name floods your mind with images. A giant bridge, hundreds of varl, ivor in your way, your anger focused just beyond him. <sighs> Einertoft was sacked, the old war leader, Krumer, says. You'd better be sure as crap stinks about what you saw, human. Ditch nods quickly. Then I'm going after them, Krumer says. It's not a request. <sighs> join the old varl. Stick with him, growl to the few riders you allow to join him. If he's still as lucky as he claims, we'll grab the others and be back in one piece. Well, time to see. going to fight. Kumar is necessary. I, I am absolutely putting Bulwark in this fight. There is no way. How much do I have? Eight. Yeah, no, I can't. Uh. Mm. It would make more sense to put Bach in there then. Yeah. We have uh, Mogan, Ollie, and Goodmunder is what we had before. Hmm. Should I swap Ollie for Spar? You good? So we don't know if we're going up against Normal Dredge or the uh, Cursed Dredge. No chances. <laughs> oh, this one. What? Oh. Two break towns, 30, 30 crit chance, and one range distance. Too bad I can't use it, but... That would be really good for, like, Ollie. Mm-hmm. Let's see how this goes. Okay, got two stone singers. Now we could, uh, could focus down this one stone singer here. But remember, their weapons will poison you and you will take damage the entire time. I put him behind one of them, yeah. Either him or Mogan. Your choice. <clears throat> Alright. So if I just... Well, no. They're gonna come to me. That's for sure. Oh, hey. Look at that. <coughs> Is that Moger? That's uh, the Einertoff banner. Oh, right. Alright. Well, I guess I should just go in and start kicking their yeah. ass. Yeah. If you can kill the, uh, sing the stone singer here. Yeah, there we nice. go. Nice. I mean, if we can take out the Stone Singer, that means less poison damage on everyone. Alright. Yeah, if they strike you once, that's just poison for the rest of the, the time. And it does not go away until the battle ends. Hello. Goodbye. 
Oh, <clears throat> well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.